Have you ever found yourself in those dreaded situations in Playground where you're crafting a blog post, an article, or any form of content, and the process of adding the data back and forth becomes an absolute time hog? Trust me, we've all been there. The hours spent manually inputting information and tweaking can be frustratingly slow and draining, but hopefully today we can speed that process up. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to walk you through the process of setting up the upload file button on OpenAI's Playground, and we'll be updating this script that we use to create the file uploader plugin using ChatGPT in my previous video. We'll be using the power of ChatGPT to make modifications to a script step by step. Whether you're a developer or just interested in the world of coding, this video is for you. First, let's take a look at the script that we have here. As you can see, it's a script that creates a button and a progress bar for file support. Missions. Our goal is to update the script with some new elements and adjustments that we have in mind. Now let's head over to ChatGPT and let's paste the code snippet provided in the description below into the chat. Then let's type, please replace the target selector for this element. And then we're just going to leave this area blank so that we can fill it in later. Let's type and also replace the text area for this element. And we're also going to leave this area blank. Now let's introduce you to the new elements and changes we want to make to the script. We'll be adding some enhancements to the button functionality and the way we interact with the page. Before we dive into ChatGPT, let's head over to Playground where we'll be implementing the changes. We'll need to identify the specific elements on the page we want to interact with. Let's go ahead and do that. Now comes the exciting part. Now that we are on Playground, right click on the page and click Inspect. This will open up the developer tools. With the Elements tab selected, you will see all the elements on the page. Now click on the inspector icon and click on the submit button area. That's going to show us the element code that we need to place our submit button near. Double click this element class and copy the highlighted code. Let's head back into ChatGPT and paste in the code for the target selector. Now let's head back into playground to get the element name for the text area. Now click on the inspector icon again and click on the text area. This is where we would like the data to be pasted into once the file is uploaded. Double click this element class and copy the highlighted code. Let's head back into ChatGPT and paste the code into the text area. Hit enter and let ChatGPT do the rest. Okay, let's do a quick recap as ChatGPT finishes up. So far, we have gathered the necessary elements that will aid us on enhancing our script. We've pinpointed the precise location to insert our button within the submit button area. Additionally, we have identified where to send the extracted data from the uploaded file and channel it directly into the text area, ready for submission. Now let's test the code. Copy the code snippet and head over to Playground. Click on the console tab in the developer tools, paste the code and hit enter. Now we see our submit file button. Let's click on it and upload a file. Now it looks great, but it's currently only submitting the first part of the file, then it just sits there. We need a way to tell the script when GPT is ready to accept the rest of the data. We'll start by making changes to the button's click event and the way we identify when ChatGPT is ready. Let's take a look at this part of the code. Now if we scroll up into this section, this code uses a loop to repeatedly check if the ChatGPT variable is ready by looking for a specific HTML element and it waits until that element is found before continuing. Since this element does not exist on this page, let's replace this section with a bit more code. Alright folks, here comes an interesting twist. While our trusty ChatGPT does a great job assisting us, sometimes it throws us a curveball with its responses, and that's perfectly normal. For those of you who want to ensure a seamless experience or experiment further, we're introducing an optional step here. We will be providing the code for the next step to avoid any issues building this tool, but for those of you who would like to build this section of the code using ChatGPT, you can use the following prompt. It's basically a breakdown of what we're about to create. Morning. Just keep in mind that you may have to tweak the code depending on the given response from ChatGPT. But for those of you that don't want to create this section of the code using ChatGPT, here's the code. We start by initializing this variable, ChatGPT ready, to false. This variable will help us track whether ChatGPT is ready to submit. Here we have a while loop that keeps running as long as ChatGPT is false. Then we introduce a one second delay. We try to find the submit button element on the page using the document query selector. If we find the submit button, we proceed to extract the text content and clean it up by removing any unnecessary characters. So let's go back to our original code and paste the new code in. Now let's take our code and get back into playground and let's paste this into the console and hit enter. Now let's insert a file and take a look at the results. 
Now, parts of our file get submitted every time GPT is ready until the data has been fully submitted. Now, if you would like to turn this code into a bookmarklet, ask ChatGPT to remove all the comments from the code and convert it into a bookmarklet. To verify whether or not ChatGPT has provided you with the proper code, just make sure the code begins with JavaScript function on the first line and the code should have no comments. Copy the code and click on the bookmark button. Click on more options, paste the code into the URL section and name the bookmark to anything you like. I will call mine submit Submit file for playground. Now if we go back into playground and refresh the page, the submit file button has been removed. Now click on the bookmark and like magic, the button returns. Now if you don't want to go through the trouble of building this yourself, you can search for ChatGPT file uploader for playground in the Google web store or click on the link in the description below to simply install the plugin. This version adds a delay option that allows the user to time when they want the data to be submitted to prevent any complaints about how many times you can submit data within one minute using playground. You also have the option to control the amount of data that gets submitted at one time. So far, the plugin only works for the chat version of the site. I will provide updates so that it supports the other versions of communication. This version also supports the file types that the original file uploader for ChatGPT extension supports. If you would like to turn this into a Chrome extension, instead of having to click on the bookmark every time you are on Playground, then head back over to ChatGPT and let's start a new chat and then type the following. Please generate a manifest file for a Chrome extension. The extension is named File Uploader for Playground. It should have permissions to work on URLs matching. We then provide the OpenAI chat URL and then we type. The extension should not have any specific actions defined. It should be a version 3 manifest. Additionally, there are no icon files and no background scripts, so do not include them in the file. Please do not add anything else. Copy the code and save it into your project using an editor of your choice. I will be using Visual Studio. Create a new file and call it manifest.json and paste the code inside of the file and save. Let's create a new file and call it content.js and let's paste our submit file code into this file and save it. Now let's head back into the Chrome browser and click on the extensions icon, then click on manage extensions, click on the load unpack button and navigate to our project folder, then click on select folder. Now let's head back into playground and refresh the page. And there we have it. Our plugin is working on the page. What a beauty. That's a wrap for today's video. We successfully added the file upload button to playground and we hope this walkthrough has been informative and helpful. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more coding tutorials and tech related content. Thank you for watching. Until next time. Wait, are you still here? Your mind must be on overload. Let's take a second to relax.